I don't want to spoil it for you if you're tuning in. Maybe you'll make yourself a sandwich. There's no sandwich coming. There's no purple Jordans. <laughs> he was wearing his regular hard soled shoes yes. here because hard you dress start show. not to dress believe shoes. in the Ravens. No, no, no it's not that. It wasn't he, about to believe. Well, if you're not bringing a sandwich No, here. he was disappointed well, where's in him. Go, let him go. But, yeah. Yeah. Since you want to take people behind the curtain, let me really take okay, them behind Because you get, just, you know, know, a little bit here and a little bit there, and then you don't know this, <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah, the Jordans were coming. The robe, the sunglasses, the sandwich, and of course, the, the soda, soda pop. pop. Yeah. Yeah. All okay. right. Up through early in the fourth quarter, H <laughs> Hubs and I are text. Yeah, he's going to do this, but he's got some new Jordans for me. I haven't even seen. All right. Yeah. And I, as this game got closer and closer, I said, you know what? I can't celebrate this mess. Wow. I will not go out there. I look idiotic throwing my feet up on yeah. the desk. After that fourth People quarter, people are making a sandwich. Like, well, low? Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I can't do it. So, I, look, I'm obviously sticking with my pick of them winning the yeah. Super Bowl and all that. But I, I'm a be, and the win was good. But I'm a little less confident than I was going into game. And I said, if they went to 0 and three, I would still be with them. Yeah. And, and I meant that. If they had lost like a close game, right, and, and played the whole game was close. I would have, I might have felt better. 0 and 3 would have been tough. I can't say I feel better because that's so but hard to overcome. This was almost a this, full blown collapse. Yes, and this, the thing is, this is what they do. Yeah. Harbaugh has more double digit leads blown in the fourth quarter than any coach since at least 1991. Can I, can I say something that's about nine. that? That's nine. I. It's you you don't those, think that's anything? No, I think I think it is something on both sides. It's a terrible. It means stat. they have a lot of big leads. That is true. But yeah, also, but you, some it's guys like I've never, lost most handsome no, man and people's no. second place in the handsome man. Award. No, but they but they no, but Wilds they they're there are two teams in the league. I'll, you know what? I'll say there's one team in the AFC that it feels to me that's supposed to be a really good team. That being up ten, it doesn't feel like game over. And no, it's Baltimore. That's that's, that's, that's the true. thing. Like. If that game yesterday wasn't over, when's it ever going to be it's over? You're 28-6 going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. And this is a week after you just blew a lead. That's right. You are absolutely desperate for That's a win. True. And you still did it. Yeah, so it's all. You're luckily you – so they got – look, and Nick, the, I, I've got some highlights. Obviously, the – Justin Tucker's a problem now. Oh, yeah. All right, he missed the 46 yards. You don't say. You, the, you blow the onside a, But that's kick. a fluky thing. I mean uh, – uh, With them – they seem to, and again, this is my team, but they seem to find ways to lose. Look, I mean, how do you blow that? That just goes through your ex. Then you see the first touchdown or in the fourth quarter for Dallas to uh, Tolbert right here. Just wide open. Just have, I, I jumped on Nick because they blew the, the yeah, coverage against the they Chiefs. They might be blowing how, coverages. Right. Like, maybe that's who that, like, that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And then the last touchdown, Kevontae Turpin, we're about to see it here. Yeah. The defender just falls. Yeah. Look, just, just get, I don't know how close you can get on that, Probably but he just, just falls. Yeah, and so can not I a great move. They, it's like they were finding ways to make this thing close, and so that concerns me a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right, so I, I agree with almost all of that, and it's but with that set, and I, you know, Isaiah likely ever since he did all that chirping, three catches for 30 yards. Mark Andrews, uh, did he play yesterday? He did, but not oh, really. I mean, like Travis uh, Kelsey asked. Right, and so the yeah, yeah well, minus all the accolades, Super Bowls, times. and Hall of Fame. Well, I totally agree. This year, this, um, this year. That, well, in, and the wins this year, I guess. But that's neither here nor there. Let me just wins, guys. let me let, please, if I may, finish the Baltimore <laughs> Ravens point. We're going to do the Chiefs. I'm thinking about wild. five minutes. Um, <laughs> Get him wild. I would like to give credit quickly to Lamar. Because not only was he, I thought, very good throughout, he, it was a really weird spot for him because they're kicking a field goal to go up 31 to 6. But Justin Tucker, who yeah. can't kick long field goals he ever might, since. He might have. Ever, to, well, listen, it, Kelsey tossed his helmet and broke him. We all know no, it. That's other possible. people might have. Yeah. We've oh, seen it. It's not with possible. Guys. It's probable. It happened. So, after that, Lamar, the Ravens had the ball for three plays. Before it was 28-25, because Dallas went touchdown, onside kick, touchdown, Ravens yep. went three and out, touchdown. And then Lamar, the third and six pass, saved the game. They were going to lose yep. that game. Yep. He gets that, and then he gets the first down, where he tricks everyone, including the broadcast, which tricked me too, yeah, and goes. Yeah, so listen. And it broke him. We all know no. it. Okay, so... 
this game was a pretty bizarre game because the Ravens clearly dominated that game, right? The Cowboys clearly had no business being part of that. If you're a Cowboys fan, you can't feel good about that game one bit because the Ravens just owned. And then things just kind of completely fell apart. And it was just such a bizarre thing. And it was all on the Ravens, 100% on the Ravens. Um, I mean, you made the Cowboys uncomfortable from the opening drive, right? They're, they're, they're getting penalties. They can't even get to their own 30. Like you just, the, the, the Ravens just took the game from the jump, quite frankly. Um, Lamar used his greatness to not only capture the momentum on the road, but then keep it, um, you know, he did what needed to be done, and especially in the early part of the game. But then even when they had the lead, I felt like they were relying on Lamar more so, and he was taking some hits, and I'm just like, at this point, the game's like kind of a blowout, and I'm just kind of like, what are you doing? Like, this is cumulative. Like, you got you to gotta be smart, right? It was, I have written down, it was 28-6, and six, and they had a designed run on Lamar. And it's like, why? Why, why, why? Like, that's the type of coaching stuff that honestly drives me crazy. And I know Lamar got some help in this game, but there were still moments when it was still all Lamar. And that to me is just not sustainable enough. It's never proven to be sustainable enough. And you need to see the Ravens to be able to grow and evolve past that. I mean, they had 13 penalties. It's like, what is that? Are you a championship level team or not? And if you are, you can't have this type of stuff. You just can't. You don't see the Chiefs do this. You didn't see the Patriots and their dynasty do this. You just don't. And so if you want to take that next level, you got to be better. They got to be better prepared. And so I'm just, it was just like a, a bizarre game. It really was. And the truth is, is like, I don't even see this as a big win because I don't think the Cowboys are a great team. I really don't. So beating this team, like uh, the Cowboys beat the Browns. The Ravens know who the Browns are. They know that they're not this amazing, great top team in the NFL. The Giants just beat them. And then the Cowboys got owned by the Saints. The Saints, I watched that game start to finish. The Saints owned that game from the first snap. They owned them offensively and defensively every single play, every single second of that game. And they didn't rely on just one thing. They didn't rely on any heroics or, or one individual play. Obviously, obviously, Kamara played great, but it was still a complete team effort. This game, the Ravens should have been able to do that. And they simply didn't. They did it in the beginning, and then they didn't. And they still relied on Lamar to be Lamar in moments when I'm just like, you should be able to beat the Cowboys and, and own them just by traditional football 101. Not even Lamar having to be Lamar. This should be a day off of Lamar. Lamar shouldn't take a single hit, maybe one or two, if that. You, you, you don't need, if you can win with Derek Carr, then Lamar should be able to do this. Lamar is supposed to be a top quarterback in the NFL. And like I said, yet you're still doing design runs 28-6. And there was, it's not like there was a sense that the Cowboys were going to come back in that moment. So I, I just still question the game plan and the, and the long-term approach. Because this team can be good enough to win the Super Bowl, to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. The problem is is that a team like the Kansas City Chiefs are able to consistently take advantage of another team's mistakes. And they minimize their own mistakes. Whereas the Ravens are making mistakes and letting other teams win or get back in the game. The Ravens could have beaten the Chiefs. No question about it. They beat themselves. They beat themselves at the Raiders. And they almost beat themselves here. At this point, for the Ravens, with the coaching and the quarterback and the team culture as a whole, this can't be enough. This can't be okay. 
you're either the Baltimore Ravens with an incredibly high standard, top three, I think, in playoff wins in the NFL in the last like 20 years or so, or you're not. Or you're going to be inconsistent. You're going to be like the Dallas Cowboys, having some great seasons, great regular season wins, getting into the playoffs, and then losing. You got to figure out how do we get to that next level? How do we get to that next step? What is the problem? What is missing? How do we become a more complete team? Because in the NFL, it's not always good enough to be great. The Ravens were great last year. They were great. They were a top team in the NFL, and I think a better team than the Chiefs. But they were not complete. They were not well coached and well executed. The Chiefs were. And that's why they won that game. No other way but that. The Ravens need to be able to do that. They need to be able to be that. And I don't know what it's going to take. Because even a game that you're rocking and rolling and dominant in, it's something like what Bruce said, where he's like, I can't even celebrate this. And I'm, you know, interacting on the comments. I'm watching this game and I'm typing up messages like, yeah, about because I said that the Ravens and everyone hated me, especially the Cowboys fans. And I was like, yeah, you watch this game. How about this? And then the score started to shrink. And I'm like, uh, probably have to delete this word because that makes me sound too confident considering what this was. And as the score got closer and closer, I'm like, I can't even send this message now. I don't know if the Ravens are going to lose this game. I'm about to say, yeah, the Cowboys just lost only to have the Cowboys end up coming back and winning. And I was just like, all right, you know what? Let me just not send any comments and just wait for this game to be over. I had a very similar reaction as Brew, quite frankly. They said, I'm interacting with all of you guys instead of, uh, you know, a producer. So, yeah, it's a good way to win. I mean, you still got the win, and now you still got things to work on and to learn and grow from. But, yeah, you got to start figuring this out. You're not just this ragtag team. You're not a newer team with a newer coach and a newer quarterback. This isn't the Chicago Bears. You're not the Packers with Jordan Love last year. Hey, we're trying to figure this out, trying to get integrated. That's not who you are. You have Lamar Jackson, two-time MVP, Harbaugh, Super Bowl winner. You're the Baltimore Ravens, a top team in the NFL for decades. You got to figure this out. You got to right this ship. Or you're not going to win. So I just, I, I, I just, it's, it's hard for me to describe. But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Are you more or less confident in the Baltimore Ravens? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. But please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.